This is an overview of iDoctor, a very flexible software tool that operates inside of LaCroix oscilloscopes. iDoctor consists of two elements, virtual probing and ideal equalized receiver emulation. The need for equalization is based on the transmission line effect of high-speed serial data signals. Here we are looking at a 2.51 gigabit per second signal, which left the transmitter, traveled along a 24-inch backplane, and we are viewing it at the receiver. We can see that the eye pattern looks very good, with the same transmitter now outputting a 5.1 gigabit per second signal, we can see that the eye pattern has now become distorted. At 9.75 gigabits per second, the eye pattern is completely closed. Because of the loss of signal integrity along the backplane, high-speed serial data designers often include an equalizer inside of the receiver chip. Because the equalizer in the IC is encased in plastic, there is often no access to the signal from the outside world. Without physical access to the signal, there needs to be another way to view it. iDoctor's Ideal Equalizer Emulation feature enables the emulation of various equalizer configurations including linear transversal tap delay line and feed forward equalizers or FFE and decision feedback equalization or DFE. Also, a built-in software clock recovery feature is included. We're looking at a real-time 5.1 gigabit per second serial data eye pattern. We can adjust the equalization set settings by opening the equalized receiver menu and selecting for example to set the FFE taps equal to 3, DFE taps equal to 5, and click on train to train the equalizer. The equalization settings take place immediately and we can see the equalized real-time eye. The equalization settings can quickly be readjusted. We can set FFE to 0, we can set DFE to 0, and now our original unequalized eye pattern returns. The equalizer can output the equalized waveform output. The decoded data waveform output and the recovered clock output waveform. We can perform full signal analysis of the equalized receiver signal including eye pattern measurements, bit error rate estimation, and random and deterministic jitter extraction. Virtual probing allows the user to physically probe one node in a circuit while measuring a response at another location with live signals from the transmitter streaming into the virtual backplane. Measurements can be taken at the far end of the virtual channel model and while measuring only at the transmitter on live signals, the far end of the backplane can be virtually probed without using an actual backplane. Each model can be loaded into the system description file and the results of the modeled backplane tested using live signals. Backplanes can be produced in one location and tested in another without the need for physically transporting any hardware. Virtual probing does not require the use of probes and is commonly used in cabled situations such as the one shown here. In this case, a transmitter equipped with differential SMA outputs is connected to the near end of a real backplane. The waveforms between the physically probed backplane model and virtually probed model are almost an exact match. The model can be made even more accurate by inserting the S parameters for the far end cables in series with the backplane model. iDoctor can also be used for de-embedding probes. When probes and fixtures make contact with the device under test, their presence in the circuit impacts the capacitive and inductive loading of the device. Probe de-embedding could allow the user to physically touch the circuit with a probe and show the device behavior as it would operate if no probe were attached. iDoctor can be used for measurement noise reduction. For fast serial data signals, the channel often attenuates high frequency content below the measurement noise floor of the system. Virtual probing allows for the user to physically probe at the transmitter package pins instead of the receiver package pins. In doing so, the signal has been acquired in an environment in which the signal strength is much greater than the noise level and is not subject to the measurement noise limitations which would have occurred when physically probing at the receiver pins. This accurate signal can now be equalized to show the ideal equalizer response within the receiver. Notice the difference in measurement noise when using virtual probing. Transmitter pre-emphasis can also be modeled by combining a tapped delay line filter in line with a virtual probing component. In conclusion, iDoctor provides the tools to undo or compensate many common forms of distortion, thereby increasing signal to noise, opening the eye pattern, increasing rise time, de-embedding probe and fixture responses, canceling measurement noise, providing accurate measurements within inaccessible nodes, reducing jitter, restoring lost bandwidth, and improving waveform fidelity. Thank you for watching this brief overview. For any questions, please contact LaCroix at www.lacroix.com.